Hi, I'm Chad with Move For Guitar. This lesson is from our series, Music Theory for Guitar. In this lesson, we're going to take an in-depth look at the Phrygian mode. First off, if you like the diagrams for everything in this series, including the diagrams for this lesson, you can download our free e-guide, Music Theory for Guitar. And this e-guide will be something that you can study and use as a reference for years to come. And like I said, it's free, so there's no reason not to just go download it. This is part 5.6 from our series, Music Theory for Guitar. If you'd like to go back and start at the beginning, you can click the link on the screen. So we've been taking in-depth looks at each of the major scale modes. And of course we started with the first mode, which is the Ionian mode. Then the second mode, which was the Dorian mode. And now we're on the third mode, which is the Phrygian mode. And again, we're looking at everything in parallel, meaning that everything is going to have the same root. And I'm going to keep it all with the G root, just because it falls in a nice place on the fretboard. So on your screen right now is the Dorian mode, which hopefully you can see because we went over that last lesson. The difference between the Phrygian mode and the Dorian mode is that for the Phrygian mode, you're going to lower the two and the six of the Dorian mode, and that'll give you a Phrygian mode. So when you do that, you end up with root, flat two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. As you remember, Dorian mode was root two, flat three, four, five, six, flat seven. Now the Phrygian mode has a flat two and a flat six, which the Dorian mode had major second and major six. And then if we were to compare this back to the Ionian mode, the major scale, which is really what you're comparing everything to, that's where the flats or sharps come from when you're talking about these intervals. If you're taking the Phrygian mode out of the major scale, you would flat the two half a step, flat the three half a step, flat the six half a step, and flat the seven half a step, and that will give you your Phrygian mode. But it's just easier to go from the Dorian mode since that's what we left off on and there's less intervals to change when you're going from another minor mode. So the Phrygian mode is your darkest sounding minor mode. There are three minor modes which as you should remember there's three spots that create minor chords or minor seven chords and that was the two chord, the three chord, and the six chord. And right now we're basically on the three chord which when we're looking at this in modes is the Phrygian mode. So the Phrygian mode what creates your three chord is the darkest sounding minor mode. And that's because you have a flat two in it. It's the only minor mode that has a flat two. And this Phrygian mode really creates a Spanish flamenco type sound or Middle Eastern type sound. So it's a scale that creates a very world music type of sound. And it's a type of sound that you'll either like or not like. A lot of people really like the sound, but others don't really use it because it doesn't fit with their style. So you're going to have to play it and see if it's something you like. And again, play it against a jam track to really hear the sound of it. And that's going to help you get the sound in your head. And the two intervals that are really your color tones that add a lot of color in this mode are your flat two, which is unique to this minor mode. It's the only one with the flat two, like I said and the flat six also create the sound of this Phrygian mode. And those are your two most dissonant intervals in this scale. So even though they're creating the sound of this mode, they're two notes that are actually a void notes in this scale. Because when you land on the flat two or the flat six, they're both only a minor second away from the last interval, which the flat two is only a minor second away from the root. So that's a very dissonant interval. And the flat six is only a minor second away from the fifth which is a very dissonant interval, the flat six. So even though they create a lot of color for this mode, they're not notes you would typically land on and just rest on. They want to go somewhere. But again, when we're talking about avoid notes, we're not talking about notes you don't play. We're talking about notes that you don't rest on usually. They usually want to go somewhere after you hit them, but they really add flavor to this mode. They really are ones you want to emphasize if you want to create the sound of the Phrygian mode. And again, your strongest tones when you're playing over a minor chord are your root, flat three, five, because those are chord tones. If you're playing over minor seven, add the flat seven in there. Those are all really strong tones. And the root three, five are your strongest, most stable tones where you can just land on and rest on forever. But again, they're more vanilla. They're not going to add a lot of color to this mode. And all the minor modes have a root flat three, five and a flat seven. So those aren't going to really distinguish this mode. 
the two notes that really distinguish this mode. Well, the first one is flat two, that really distinguishes this mode, but then also the flat six helps with that sound. So you really want to emphasize those two notes if you want to bring out the sound of this mode. But again, those are what's called void notes, so it just means don't land on those typically because they're going to be really dissonant. And again, just take a minor chord and improvise over this. If you're in the key of G, take a G minor chord and then a G minor seven chord. Just first play the scale up and down over it. Play each interval really slowly to hear what it sounds like over the chord. And then when, you, when you've done that, just mix it up and try to create melodies. Try to start soloing over it. And you can do it with any of the three chords that I showed you. So you can do this over all the three chords. And it'll be really easy to hear the difference between this and the Dorian mode that we looked at in the last lesson. They're very different sounding minor modes. And you'll be able to hear the different colors you can get. And again, I want to point out that if you just came across a G minor seven chord and it was just looping, it was just one chord over and over with no other chords around it. And there were, there was no other instruments playing other notes outside of this chord. So all you had were the minor seven chord tones. You have the choice of any of the minor modes to play over this. And if you do that, if you play each one individually over this chord, for example, if you started over G minor seven and played a G Dorian mode, and then you played a G Phrygian over this minor seven, you'd really be able to hear the differences between these modes. It becomes really obvious. And that's why looking at things in parallel really help you understand the different colors the modes can produce. So again, here's this chart. We've added Phrygian and Phrygian formula is root flat two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, which you can see from the Dorian mode is flatting the two and flatting the six. That's the only difference. But still you have a minor triad and a minor seven. That's the exact same. You just have root flat three, five, flat seven. All the minor modes have that. Your void notes, which again are just notes that you don't want to land on typically because they're dissonant, but you definitely want to emphasize them to bring out the color of the mode are your flat two and your flat six. The parent major scale is the flat six this time. And again, that just means that if this was the key of G, if this was a G Phrygian mode, the actual notes would be G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G. So the parent major scale of G Phrygian is E flat. And again, that's just because that's where the whole step, whole step, half step lands. This would be your flat two right here. So that's what I mean when I say the flat six is the parent major scale in Phrygian mode. And another way you can look at it is the Phrygian mode is the third mode of the major scale. So you just count back three starting on the root. So root is one, then two, then three. This becomes your parent major scale. And then the unique characteristics of the Phrygian mode are your flat two especially, but also the flat six helps with that sound. But the flat two is what's unique from any of the other minor modes. It's the only minor mode that has a flat two in it. And it's kind of weird that the avoid notes are the unique character, but again, the void notes don't mean not to play them. It just means they're not good landing tones because they're dissonant, but they do create the sound of this mode. So definitely emphasize them if you want to bring out the sound of the Phrygian mode. And then the color of this mode, like I mentioned, is Spanish, Spanish type flamenco or a Middle Eastern type sound. And it's a very dark minor sound unlike the Dorian mode, which is a bright minor sound, which creates more of a jazzy minor sound. This is more of a world type music that would be more of a Spanish flamenco, Middle Eastern type of sound. So now we look at this chart again. Now the Phrygian mode is our root. So everything in the gray is a Phrygian mode. If we were looking at G Phrygian, which we've been going over, it'd be G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G. Our parent major scale is in the tan, which is E flat which you can see is the original one. And then our steps have rearranged to match with the Phrygian mode, which is half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step now, because if we were starting on major, the one, it would be whole step, whole step, half step, and so on, but we've just rearranged it. So now you can look at the Phrygian mode in every single key quickly, just be able to look. If you want to look in C sharp Phrygian mode, it's right here then you quickly be able to see what the parent major scale is and this will be a really useful chart for you. So that's the third mode of the major scale, the Phrygian mode. Go ahead and move on to the next lesson where we're going to talk about the fourth mode of the major scale, the Lydian mode. 
and download the e-guide. All these diagrams are in there. And be sure to subscribe because we had at least one new lesson every day.